This lesson will show how to create a beautiful piece of art by graphing linear equations with domain restrictions. The linear equations will be in sloped intercept form, which is the form y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept or vertical intercept. Let's take a look. As I zoom out, the artwork will appear. And here it is. This artwork has been created by graphing 40 linear equations in sloped intercept form with domain restrictions. Before we go over the equations and the restrictions, one thing we can also do is click on the wrench in the upper right hand corner, click reverse mode, then close the menu by clicking outside the menu. Now notice how the coordinate plane is in black and the line segments are in white. Let's go back to regular mode. Before we look at the equations, we could click and hold on the circles on the far left and change the color of each line segment. We can change all of them to any of the six colors shown on the right. Now looking at the equations, again all equations are in sloped intercept form and the domain restriction is in curly brackets or squiggly brackets to the right. And now I will scroll through all 40 equations so you can see the equations and the domain restrictions to create the artwork. As you review the equations, you will see a pattern in the equations as well as the domain restrictions. So to create an activity for students, I would highly recommend scrambling the order of the equations so they're graphing the equations using the sloped intercept form, not using the pattern from the artwork. And just in case your students don't know how to graph lines yet, but you do want to create this piece of art, the students could be given just the endpoints on the coordinate plane and then sketch the line segments. If you wanted to take that approach, these would be the points that would be the endpoints to create the line segments. However, in this case, we would have an 8x8 design rather than a 10x10 design, which we saw with the linear equations. Thank you for watching.